All of us here thank you for everything you've done. For us, for the waste. We pulled together and got you this. It's the best we could do. Please take it. With our thanks. Certainly. It's the least I could do after all you've done. You came in here on your own power, so you must not be busted up too bad. Not quite as good as that vault stuff you're used to, but it'll do you. You done? Good. Try to be careful. Tidy up while you're away, sir. Sierra Petrova does the name. Good to see a new face in Girder Shade. I take it you're here to check out my Nuka Cola collection and take the tour. I have one of the. No. The best Nuka Cola collection in the Capital Wasteland. Heck, I've won the Nuka Cola Fan Club Collection Award for the last 10 years in a row. I'm the president, the recording secretary, and the treasurer. Once a year, we gather here in Girder Shade to have a cook-off using Nuka Cola and the recipe. Last year, I went with my poached roach and Nuka sauce. Delicious! Well, only two right now, me and Ronald. But membership is open to the public. You can join if you like. Ronald? Oh, I'm sorry. I figured you met him already. He usually chats with people who enter Girder Shade. He's my neighbor and my protector, as he calls it. Imagine if some nasty raider wanted to take my stuff. He'd show them a thing or two. He's such a sweetie. You should talk to him. He's a darling, always watching out for me, and more importantly, keeping the collection safe. Like once, there were these raiders that came by, there were three of them, and their leader was named, like, Lugnut or something. So they, like, kicked in Ronald's door, and he was like, blam, with his gun, and one of them got all splattered. Then the other one tried to, like, hit him all in his head with some club, and Ronald was so cool how he dodged it and shot the guy in the face. Then the Lugnut guy was in Ronald's face with the, I'll kick your ass stuff, and Ronald was like, hell no, and he punched the... 
Oh, sorry. I get carried away sometimes. Well, you should definitely talk to Ronald. I bet he'd like to meet you. He's such a sweetheart. I sure did. Want to take it now? How can you resist? This stuff is so cool. Well, come on then. Let me show you around. But no free Nuka Cola until the end of the tour. When Nuka Cola was invented by John Caleb Braverton in 2044, it quickly became the world's most popular soft drink. The Wonder Drink soon drew a dedicated following, which prompted the Nuka Cola Corporation to release many promotional items like these. By 2067, a Nuka Cola machine such as this rare, pristine model could be found on almost every street in America. Even in today's crazy world, Nuka-Cola is still the number one choice of refreshment among Armageddon survivors. As promised, here's a little pick-me-up. An ice-cold Nuka-Cola. Just look at the frost on the bottle. So cold and delicious. Pardon me. <clears throat> I tend to lose myself when I hold on to a Nuka-Cola. Before I get to the little proposition I have for you, let me tell you a little bit about Nuka-Cola Quantum. Well, right before the bombs fell, the good folks at Nuka-Cola developed what they hoped was an improvement on the original formula. Calling it Nuka-Cola Quantum, it was said to have twice the calories, twice the carbohydrates, twice the caffeine, and twice the taste. Well, the flavor certainly wasn't the issue. The public was just split on the unique feature of the Quantum's appearance. You see, to make it stand out on store shelves and to give it that extra kick, the formula called for a mild isotope. The effect was a drink that not only boosted your energy, but also glowed with a bright blue light. Oh no, only ever so mildly. No ill effects were ever recorded. Well, it does have the unique property of making your... Um... Your pea glow. Oh no, not at all. Nuka-Cola Quantum was made under the supervision of the Food and Drug Association. They would never let harmful products end up in stores. I love the stuff. I can't get enough of it. I thought I was hooked on regular Nuka-Cola, but the Quantum beats it by a long shot. I've got to have more! That's right. You bring me Nuka-Cola Quantum, and I pay you. Handsomely, I might add. For every bottle you bring me, I pay you some caps. You know, for expenses. But if you're super cool and find, like, enough bottles to fill my Nuka-Cola machine, 30 in all, I've got a super secret cool prize for you. Oh, okay. I have a schematic for the Nuka Grenade, the only one in the whole Capital Wasteland. Bring me the bottles, and it's yours. Imagine the look on the target's face when they are burning alive in an effervescent explosion of cola and fruit flavors. So, what do you say? Will you bring me the bottles? Oh, goody! I can taste the quantum already. Good luck to you, sweetie. Nope. Sorry. Well, to the east, there are some nasty raiders in Evergreen Mills. I'd stay away from there if I were you. Luckily, we're kind of hidden here under the old highway, so no one bothers us. I don't know a whole lot about weapons, but I do know that it's more powerful than a regular grenade. It explodes in a huge blue flame, too. How cool is that? 
Well, besides what I've already told you, not much. They were working on a way to prevent the glow from remaining once it passed through a person's system, but it was never perfected. I heard that the stuff they use to make it glow and give it that kick has a shelf life of over a thousand years. Should make the bottles easier to spot. Well, the bottles are glass just like regular Nuka-Cola, except the glass is clear. That way the glowy stuff inside shows through. You'll know it when you see it. Oh my! It's like a tidal wave of flavor washing all over your body! Your head spins, but everything is clear at the same time! It's quite a rush! <laughs> Addicted? Why would you say that? I can stop drinking it any time I want. That's so silly to think I would get hooked on the most delicious soft drink ever devised by man. Okay, shoot! In fact, I do. <laughs> Surprised you, didn't I? Your best bet would be to find the ruins of the DC Nuka-Cola bottling facility. Find the shipping manifests inside. With them in hand, you should have a good clue as to where the quantum was delivered. While you're there, you may even be able to find some bottles of quantum. Well, the DC facility was like their main factory just before the bombs fell. All the research they did was performed there. It was the only facility to ever produce quantum. They were in a test market mode, and they would have expanded production if the drink caught on. Too bad they didn't. Otherwise, quantum would be as plentiful as regular Nuka-Cola. That's okay. Take your time and don't break the bottles.